Hi, my name is Elena Mateus reporting for Scott Center. And as Valentine's Day soon approaches, Carmont celebrates it in the form of Valentine's for every student in their annual rose sale. Let's see what the Carmont students have to think about it. I'm here with junior George Orozco. George, how did having your own Valentine make you feel? It made me feel really, you know, happy about it because all the ASB people took their time <laughs> to actually write everybody's, like, name down. And, you know, people sometimes don't have their own Valentines, and it just, it's a good vibe for everyone, you know? I'm here with Junior Cameron Choi. So Cameron Choi, you were in charge of this. How did it go? It went really well. It was a really big success on like hanging it up, like writing the names, cutting out all the hearts and everything and all the process and product went smoothly. So what is the purpose of having Valentine's for every single student here? Our purpose was primarily just to make everyone feel included on campus and kind of create um, like unity on the campus, I guess. And like on Valentine's Day, everyone deserves a Valentine's and some people, even though they deserve one, might not necessarily get one. So we just wanted to make sure everyone got one. That's awesome. What are your plans for next year in terms of the Valentines? Um, our plans for next year are just kind of doing the same thing, but also making it better with minor improvements, like laminating it and putting tarps over it as, so it doesn't get like soggy in the morning. Yeah. I'm here with Junior Thomas Chin. So Thomas, what role did you play in the rose sales? Um, well, being junior vice president, um, I helped to organize the whole thing. We had to buy the roses and sell them at lunch, all the different grams that people could write and then send to their secret admirers or something. But um, all in all, we just um, helped get the roses, put them together, and make sure they're delivered on time to the people at the fourth period. So how did the rose sales go? I think it went fantastic, considering there were some little obstacles we had to overcome, but overall we were able to sell a lot of roses and a lot of people got a lot of candy and roses together. So what were some of the difficulties that you had to overcome in the rose sales? Um, well, because we're in a drought actually, the roses uh, costed more as we came closer to Valentine's Day, so we had to buy them a week in advance while they were still at the cheaper prices, and then we had to keep them in our fridges for the whole week and then we delivered them. Um, today actually yeah nice so how do you think activities like having valentines for every student and rose sales help kids at Carmont well it helps to develop trust in our student government and it helps uh, set up like more trust for future activities where we have to have people partake in different roles and um, it just makes everybody happy you know it's just a good feeling just giving roses to other people and your friends it's awesome for Scott Center News, I'm Elena Mateus, and I'm signing out. And have a happy Valentine's Day, Carmont.